OK, so we're going to use reversing the chain rule to integrate each of these. OK, so this first one, the integral of 2x plus 3 cubed dx. So the first thing I would think about is that I know I'm going to get a 2x plus 3 to the power of 4. OK, I'm going to have 1 added to the power. So if I differentiate this with respect to x, I've got the 4 and the 2 coming to the front. So that would be 8 lots of 2x plus 3 drop 1 from the power. So I know that this will have to integrate to 1 over 8, 2x plus 3 to the 4, plus a constant C of integration, because that will differentiate to that. OK, because I know that the 2x plus 3 to the 4 will differentiate to 8 lots of 2x plus 3 cubed. So 1 eighth of that will knock out the 8 and the C would have gone through differentiation anyway. So that's our first one. So number 2, 5x minus 7 to the 8. I know that it should get to 5x minus 7 to the 9. OK, so if I differentiate that, the 9 and the 5 will come down to the front. So I'll get 45 lots of 5x minus 7 to the 8 using the chain rule. So I know that the integral of 5x minus 7 to the 8 should be 1 over 45 5x minus 7 to the 9. OK, so that's number 2. Now, number three, we've got 4x minus 5 square rooted. So I know that I should be getting 4x minus 5. Adding 1 to the power gets me to 3 halves. So I want to differentiate that to see what this coefficient would have to be. So I've got the 3 halves coming down and the 4 coming down as well. So that's 4 lots of 3 halves, which is 6. Take 1 off the power. So this will be 1 sixth, 4x minus 5 to the half. Uh, sorry, to the 3 halves. Apologies. Plus c. OK? So this will differentiate to that. Last but not least, 5 minus 2 thirds x to the power of minus a fifth. So I should be getting this 5 minus 2 thirds x. Adding 1 to the power will get me to 4 fifths. So if I differentiate that to see what I get using the chain rule, I'm going to have 4 fifths and minus 2 thirds coming out to the front. So they would multiply to make minus 8 fifteenths, 5 minus 2 thirds x uh, to the uh, 1 minus one fifth. OK, so this should integrate to uh, one over this amount. So negative 15 over 8, 5 minus 2 thirds x uh, to the power of 4 fifths. OK, because that, oh, plus C, because that will differentiate back to that. And that's how we can use reversing the chain rule to quickly integrate these.